Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So if you guys would mind smashing that like button and we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin for our charts. So so yeah, as you can see, yesterday we had a well pretty savage move down. <laughs> um and we were bought up pretty quick. Um obviously the first pass of what well, what we can call it a pass, we actually literally got uh, we actually steamrolled through it um, pretty much almost down to our next level I mean down to this level here but our main support um, but yeah bought quickly back up obviously on the first pass um, had a nice little bounce there um, and then subsequently um, resumed resumed the downtrend so I mean that is um, that is pretty that's pretty um, when you look at it in hindsight obviously I mean this wick aside basically um, you come down to the support you bounce you fail uh, dead cat bounce and then you come back down which is basically what's happened and um, we are coming up on a four hour nine here so a four hour nine in 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 well price action has roughly got down to um the same the same area and um, we've clearly got lower we clearly got lower potentially to go um if we want to um basically as we said this range is about 46 to 48 uh thousand dollars um this just support area this general area i mean if you look at it on the um the V uh, PVR, and um, this would just obviously be a a high a high node area, um, but yeah, um, at a level at a level. But obviously, um, this is a pretty savage move. Um, this could have momentum. This could take us lower. But I will caveat that with saying um, that's how price action will often move up the up the escalator down the uh, elevator. So we go up in a staircase fashion. We come down pretty quick. Doesn't mean we're going to keep coming down forever. Um, it just means we're gonna. It just means we come down quick, and then we're gonna pretty much turn back around again. Um, obviously, that doesn't have to be the case. At some point, this is gonna turn around. Um, but um, but yeah, it doesn't necessarily have to be at the moment. Um, we have got this whole area here. Realistically, if we hold this, um, we could on on the larger term time frame, larger term time scale, we could really could look uh, at basically this being our last line of support so we could just for the sake of being ultra conservative call it 40k 40k is the level in the larger time frame we've got to hold if we lose 40k um if we lose um the 40k bitcoin um price level um then we will not be looking good uh, we'll be looking potentially for a move then down to about 30k maybe a bounce back up to 40k maybe a move back down to 30k and then bust that headline that neckline and be moving well back down to 20k um but like i've said we are a long way from that happening um and and like i've all like i also said i said when we we're getting up to here um i was i um yeah, I was basically saying, look, we can easily be trading some sideways to down here for a prolonged period, like much like we did here. And this looks like as good as level as any to do it. Um, this range here, um, this range, 58 to 48, well, 58, say 48, 58 to 46, 48 is this top part here, um, is, is as good a range to play out as any. Um, we could form a sort of, so, I mean, we could basically just do exactly what we've done here form a bit of a descending triangle look bearish get people worried get people scared have a fake out above i mean this is a bit there's a bit of a manipulated fake out then back down and then just bust out i mean if i had to pick what if i had to guess a scenario put my money on a scenario it would just would be that we're just going to repeat this basically <laughs> um and it's going to get people a bit worried um and yeah and it's, it's just basically going to be a cu accumulation um at the highs and um, within a large range um obviously we can get some wicks below i mean you can clearly see we've got wicks below here wicks below we could get some wicks below um this um 46k level um and trade in this range the alternative is obviously this level here we'll have to extend this along is is around is around the um for have i got my drawing tools locked now i haven't so we're going to extend this extend this along um, the alternative, can we extend this? Yes, we can. Um, the alternative is um, obviously this. This we come let we come deeper, um, and um, this around we'll call it basically around 40k. The 40k level then just becomes a level um, for us to then pretty much have to be supported. I'll 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 I'll, I'll have to um, tidy these up a bit. Um, I won't bother trying to do it right now. Um, or shall I? Um, yeah, that that one's better. Uh, and that one's better um yeah so the alternative is we break through here and then we realistically gotta gotta we've gotta hold 40k otherwise we are gonna look look um we are gonna start to look pretty um pretty dire 
um, in the in the medium and long term. But like I said, um, my bias is towards just trading out this range, even if it doesn't trade out in a descending triangle formation. It may it may trade it out in an ascending triangle formation and then try to bust out the top and then actually break down below and just come to the bottom end of the range and trade sideways for some more. Um, but <clears throat> most most of Bitcoin's um, trading will be in sideways markets. Um, so um, trending is not necessarily what happens most of the time. I mean, if you just kind of look at this price action. Um, so we've had a nice, a nice trending move. Um, with, with bits of consolidation and my, my guess is that we are just going to come into another period of consolidation and this range um, I mean as wide as it is um, does look does look pretty good um, even a back test of this to break out above this high because we didn't that we didn't actually back test this level at all we just kind of this is the lowest we got towards it and then onwards and upwards so um, what we really want to see is basically pretty much holding holding where we've come down to below maybe as we grind this area out maybe have some tests of around 46k we don't really want to be seeing 40k because we don't you don't really want to take it to the limit <laughs> of where we need to stay um but yeah um sideways consolidation in this range um does look does look um does look um um, does look possible does look um for me um might what well, be my guess is what was going to happen but um but yeah i mean we've got clearly clear points we've got the 46k close below here we're going for the next level 40k and if we close below there we're going well um well we're going who knows where at that point um but yeah ethereum bitcoin um obviously getting getting wrecked um wrecked bitcoin move up wrecked bitcoin move down wrecked i mean it just needs to sideways but we could be coming up on that so there we go lost this important horizontal um i mean it was looking bearish af um <laughs> so um continuation downwards um bitcoin dominance bitcoin dominance on the whole though is actually um not looking not looking too bad um actually um lots of excitement going on in various different alts so um yeah we've got that um dxy um we know that we've got this coming down so it is interesting to see how i, how I was saying that um this, we stopped looking at this as as a, as intensely um when analyzing bitcoin just because bitcoin and pretty much broke off when this was doing its own thing so yeah even whilst this was going up bitcoin was going up and now the bit this has actually come down to recent lows and um, bitcoin is coming down also so you can see this is just confirms what i'm saying that we're not really taking our lead from this anymore uh, but you can squint and you can see um <laughs> we don't even have to squint we're at a level we are and this probably should be a thick line here we're at a level now it wasn't previously because it was based on what was going on here but obviously based on that price action now this should be this is an important level um and yeah breaking down from here um this is coming lower and that could that could i mean it could offer a little bit of a headwind for bitcoin but bitcoin is so uh it's moving so fast um that is that head is that um sorry tailwind is that tailwind even going to be um <laughs> a faster speed than bitcoin is even moving if you if you obviously understand what i'm saying um so yes um interesting times interesting times um stock markets um hanging there or thereabouts i believe the nasdaq is not enjoying life at the moment um so there you go um but it's um it's it's at, it's at a level it's gonna have to hold this line otherwise it's, it may it may go bearish um so yeah over so back over to bitcoin um let's have a look at those stochastics but we mean we pretty much um well it's it, we pretty we can probably pretty much guess what they're going to be saying um obviously the well let, let's guess it right now they're going to be short term is going to be mate it's come down quite a bit which it has in the four hours you can see but it's got room to run medium term is still going to be coming down a longer term is maybe not looking so bad uh, which is what it was reading yesterday which is why we we're kind of saying that realistically i was looking for sideways to down um but yeah 10 hour 10 hours fully lost his trend line and diving um 12 hour um diving as well um daily daily's got plenty of room to run um two day has turned down um, from a high level three day looking to turn down and then well the higher time frames five day looking good i mean weekly even turning down so and bi-weekly coming down and monthly looking to turn back over so Obviously, these higher time frames and stochastics, when you're in bull market, can stay jammed up there. But um, if we did, if we have put in, um, and dare I even say it, if we have put in a macro, a longer term high here, 
and we are going to potentially grind our way back down like i said losing 40k losing the neckline losing 30k neckline if we bounce off 30k to 40k losing 30k and coming back down to a 20k um based on the stochastic read um and the room that those those have to run assuming they don't just get jammed up there um yeah i mean we could have we could have put in a we could have put in the high um so <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was pretty much the last, the last level I had. I probably would have looked to draw more levels up, but um, but it didn't really necessarily know exactly where to draw them. Um, but not that, it, not that this is going to happen, um, and these markets will scare you into thinking that crazy stuff's going to happen. But um, yeah, um, I, I mean, at the very least, um, we're going to find a range here to trade sideways in, uh, sideways potentially down, and then we're going to make a decision as the market as a whole. Do we then test back up, take out these highs and continue to 100k? Or are we coming back down to test that other level that was never retested, the 20k level? Um, <laughs> so there we go. Lots of if, buts and maybes. Lots of if, buts and maybes. So um, yeah, it's going to be interesting times. But yeah, first and foremost, first and foremost, um, this, this level sort of here, 46k to 48k, um, needs to hold, needs to bounce price, needs to get price moving back up if it doesn't. Um, then yeah about 40k so there you go guys quick video i am off to the dentist this morning um so yeah thank you for listening uh, this is not a financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and i shall speak to you guys later on today